How you doing? I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a capo in a New York crime family. Now, you probably think being a mobster was all busting knees and deep sixing guys, which it kind of was. See, violence was our thing, even on a slow day. <laughs> Got ya! <laughs> Good shot, Jimmy. But when it came to other gangs, I had a real knack for keeping the peace. Like a referee for wise guys. For instance, I was friendly with the Russian Mafia. Yeah, Boris, I brought vodka. Let's get drunk and make fun of the triad. I was respectful to the Chinese Mafia. Happy New Year! What? I miss it? You guys keep changing the day. Anyway, Chen, you really gonna let those Ruskies walk all over you? Which one of you is Chen again? Heck, I even had an open-door policy with the gay mafia. Oh my god! I can't believe you wore those shoes with that tie, Donnie. Oh yeah, coming from the guy who wore beige in December? <laughs> fellas, fellas, we gotta talk about the Chinese. They really got it in for you. Then a gang war broke out between the Russians, the Chinese, and the gay dudes, which I had nothing to do with. <laughs> until I took over their business. <laughs> Anyway, now I'm Jimmy McDougal, living in witness protection in Canada, where they don't know nothing about peacekeeping. Actually, Pop, Canada's armed forces are well known for- Lay off, will you? I'm trying to make a point. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Hey, Jimmy, this guy says the test drive's over. He wants us to get back to the dealership. <laughs> Forget I said anything. You hungry? I could eat. Yeah, I'll have the deer burger, side of antlers. Sounds good. I'll have the same. Actually, come to think of it, let me have a bison burger. Nah, you know what? Deer burger's fine. <gasps> Hang on, Cheech! Jimmy, I think we traveled back in time to an episode of Little House on a Prairie. Are you hurt, strangers? What the hell are you doing riding a buggy in snowmobile country? Actually, this is Mennonite country. What the f is that? You know, where they make the deodorant. No, stranger. We are a humble, God-fearing folk who shun modern conveniences such as cars, electricity, and zippers. So, in other words, you're poor. Hope things pick up for you. In truth, we are an ultra-Orthodox branch of the Mennonite tree. We broke away from our brethren in 19... Yo, Rabbi, I'm on the edge of my seat here, but I gotta run. I fear the iron pig you ride is dead. Looks like we're walking back to Regina. Regina? We too are traveling to that Sodom and Gomorrah. I am Jacob. These are my brothers, Samuel and Eli. We are going on our Rumspringer. I think you mean wine spritzer. Rumspringer is a period in which young Mennonites leave our community to experience modern society. We are looking for what you people would call a good time. Do you know where we can find such a time? Tell you what. You boys give us a ride in the town, and we'll help you out with that. You would do that for us? Oh, not so fast. Throw in some chickens, and you got a deal. So, what kind of good time you boys looking for? Disneyland or Playboy Mansion? Jacob! Samuel, look! The lights of the Emerald City. Mine eyes. Hey, we're walking here! Have you been? And what's this about you stealing a snowmobile? We didn't steal nothing. We took it for a test drive. It failed. Jimmy, what have I told you about taking things that don't belong to you? It's not the Canadian way. Unless we're talking native land, but we like to pretend that never happened. My point is, what kind of nation would this be if everyone just took whatever struck their fancy with no regard for other people? America? Exactly. And who the hell are these guys? This is Jacob and... The other one and the other one. Jimmy, why is the cast of Witness in my house? It's like this, Cookie. 
These are men in tights on a rumple still skin looking for a good time. Speaking of good times, I gotta use the job. And I better get some groceries now that we got guests. Relax, dinner's covered. <laughs> hey, I'm Teresa. H hello, I am Jacob. I am here to taste the delights of the big city. Boy, did you come to the right place. I'm going to show Jacob my delights. I mean my sights. These sights. Bye. Listen, punk. Rum springer or no springer, I expect you to behave like a gentleman. Home by midnight and don't drink and drive. I neither drink nor drive. Good. Now get the hell out of here. All right, Cook. Cheech and I are going to take the other two out for some fun. Jimmy, be very careful with those boys. I've seen many a rum springer turn to tragedy when the modern world proved overwhelming for young Mennonites. Relax, McCool. They're farmers, not cavemen. Mm. Your well water is so clean and fresh. And blue. Oh, Jacob, your hay baling arms make me feel like I'm on the cover of a Harlequin romance novel. And that maybe, just maybe, my dress is torn. I think, Teresa, you are the most beautiful woman I have ever met. I think, Jacob, you are right. You are also the only woman I have ever met to whom I am not related. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> I figure we'll loosen them up with a few cocktails at the Sky Tickler Lounge and then on to Little India for the Snake and Kitty Show. That darn cat is such a charmer. It's only five stories up, but on a clear day, you can see everything, which really ain't much. How can this be? We are not where we started. We drove here in a $60,000 SUV, but the elevator's a big deal. What new wonders await us on three? Not too bright, huh? This from a guy who forgets to wear pants. Aw, oh, crap. You'd think four hours riding in the magic closet would be enough excitement for anyone, but no! You two have to go and pull the fire alarm! Daddy! Brothers! Teresa raised a barn! In my pants! Daddy, calm down! We didn't do anything! We did not? Then why are my Unterhosen damp? That's it! What is going on down here? I'm about to turn this Quaker Oats into porridge! Daddy, all we did was make out a bit! Promise! Jacob and I are in love. He's invited me to meet his family and stay in their village, and I said yes. Oh, Jesus. I love him the real way, not just the yes, I'll go to Cabo for the weekend way. Hey, can I have her room? Teresa, you do realize Jacob is a Mennonite? Uh, I think you mean Mannonite. And yes, he's my Mannonite. Teresa Maria Falcone, there is no way you're running off with some weirdy beardy you just met. Mom, this is so unfair. Yeah, I'm old enough to make my own mistakes. Okay, let me get this straight. You're gonna live without electricity. Our love is electric. And no running water. Jacob's love is all the fluid I need. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you on a farm? <laughs> <laughs> She's really going. You sure you're okay with this? You kidding me? She'll be back by dinner time. I'm giving three to one on that. Interested? Fifty bucks says she'll sleep here tonight. I want a piece of that action. I abhor gambling. Give me twenty on noon tomorrow. What a pleasant ride. And it only took us nine hours. You really ought to get your heater fixed. Shh! My father is coming. Relax. Dads love me. Jakob, what is this? You were supposed to sample the modern world, not bring it back with you. Father, this is Teresa. Father? Get out of town. You look more like Jacob's brother. Truth be told, I am a little of both. Now, young woman, we are not used to outsiders here. As long as you remain in this settlement, I trust you shall respect our customs, our morals, and our values. You got it, Pops. So, what's your Wi-Fi password? This is a mall. It's where people come to buy things they don't really need. Maybe you boys can pick something up for your mom. Something to take back to her when you go home. Hopefully soon. It's not gonna hurt you. Just get on. Where do these steps come from? What strange magic is this? Whee! 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 So 
Samuel, look! The steps, they vanish! Hey, don't put your face down there! Yeah. Help! It wants my gin blanket! <laughs> Wait! Modern medicine is forbidden to us! I feel better. Oh, five more minutes. Wake up, my modern woman. Jacob, not yet. I haven't even put my face on. Hand me my makeup. Ah, such whore paint is forbidden here. Jacob, I am already concerned by this girl's sloth. Now, get up. It is only two hours until sunrise. Time for breakfast. Haven't you people heard of beauty sleep? <sighs> I guess not. <sighs> I'll have coffee and a bagel. We do not allow bagels with their sensual roundness and tempting holes. Fine. <sighs> what else you got? You misunderstand. Women's breakfast was hours ago. Now is the time for you to make the men's breakfast. In my country, we stopped playing with Play-Doh in grade two. And here, playing is forbidden. I was joking. Also forbidden. You must learn the value of doing chores. Look at Helga. She is proficient at chores and therefore has many suitors. Uh, uh, uh. Now this I know how to do. Uh, let us find you something else to do. What is going on here? Who's behind on his lunch money? He's in high school, so I want you to be my muscle. Hmm? Ooh, what does this task entail? Uh, if he gets out of line, you two slap him around. Slap around? Is that some kind of dance? We do not dance. Who said anything about a dance? Just beat his head in. Oh no, we are a peace-loving people. We cannot raise our hand to another man. Then use your freaking foot. What do I care? Let's go. You got that, you mooks. If you're gonna cross the street, you gotta watch the signals. Stop, Gina! The stern little man commands us to stand like this. No, no, you got it all wrong. Hurry, Samuel! The orange hand beckons us forward! What is wrong with you retards? <laughs> oh, thank heaven. The medicine that makes us feel better. Ah, that's the stuff. More, more, please, please. I'll suck your. Your father's been working me like a dog. I'm exhausted. But not too exhausted. Want to go to the hayloft? More chores? Teresa, you are insatiable. I've heard that. Don't know what it means, but I've heard it. Oh, no. Those follies may have been acceptable on my Rumspringa, but we are back in the real world now. Don't you want to play Amish school, girl? Amish girls do not go to school, silly. <laughs> now, off to bed. I will be thinking of you, but not with my hands. Bad hands. Devil's hands. I have handcuffs. Okay, it's official. This place sucks. <sighs> Damn it! Put that away! Such prideful adornments are forbidden! What? It's just a hair clip. It is much more than that. It is a dagger that will pierce the heart of our community. It is dangerous. Only if I stick it in your eye. I have spoken! There is no more to say on the matter! Well, I have more to say on the matter! F*** this! So, you guys have never seen a train before? Only in the distance. We thought they were metal snakes that would eat our souls. Well, that's just silly. There's no such thing as souls. Did you know these tracks run clear across the continent? In fact, early on it was referred to as the trans Look, Samuel, I have found medicine. Uh, guys, I wouldn't touch those. Seriously, guys, that's not safe. It makes me feel better. I do not feel better, Samuel. <laughs> We need 
to talk. Teresa, why is your head naked? Yeah, about that. This isn't working out. I thought when I came here, it would be quaint. Like doing it on a quilt. Doing what? See, I don't fit in here. Can I catch a ride into town? I do not understand. We are to be married tomorrow. What? With God's blessing, you will be pregnant by the weekend. Dude, I'm only 17. I'm too young to get married. That is witch talk. My mother was a spinster of 15 when she wed. In any case, you agreed to be my wife the moment you sat in my buggy. This is crazy! My little lamb, you just have cold feet. We have a cure for that. You could have just given me socks. Ow! Ow! Give me another try. Ow! Ah! 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 Son of a... My fingers gotta go on a diet. <laughs> Your fingers? Jimmy, Teresa hasn't updated her Twitter feed in 12 hours. Hashtag, I'm worried. <laughs> Stupid bird. We solemnly invite you to the joyless union of Jacob and Teresa under the eyes of a stern and merciless God. What? The bride and groom are registered at Barnes and Stable. If I'm reading this right, I think Teresa's getting married. The hell she is. Oh, my God. They're a cult. My baby girl's been kidnapped by a cult. Ah, crap. I'm gonna take a bath on this. Let me see that. How are we supposed to RSPV? Jimmy, get your shotgun. We're going to a wedding. Should I wear my blue suit or the pinstripe? Give it a rest, will ya? Isn't it exciting? You are permitted to choose the color of your wedding dress. Gray or off gray? Off gray, most assuredly. Where the hell is Jacob? <laughs> In the barn, learning about the birds and the bees. These are birds. These are bees. This is your penis. This is your penis on drugs. Any questions? Hey! Why are you burning my stuff? No! Please! Not the hair dryer! Ah! What do you have against full-bodied hair? What is wrong with you people? Don't you get it? It's your life, and you only get one, so make the most of it. Don't let anyone tell you how to live. You can be whatever you want to be. Could I be a shoemaker? I love shoes. A DeVry graduate? Reach for the stars. How about a sodomite? You can be any nationality you want. And stop pretending it's the 50s. What's so great about spending eight hours to make a loaf of bread when you can get one at 7-Eleven? Technology can make your life easier. Technology is your friend. Oh, she is right. Look at all this pornography. Won't be needing you anymore. <laughs> Man, I hope they have a chocolate mountain. I love those things. This is all my fault, Jimmy. I never should have let Teresa go. Ah, don't beat yourself up, Cook. Save it for the groom. What if they brainwashed her? What if they've got her in robes, chanting at airports? <gasps> oh, my God, what if they're about to drink the Kool-Aid? Hurry up, Jimmy. I'm driving as fast as I can, but I don't know where I'm going. The sexy directions lady is on the fritz. This thing says, you are now leaving civilization. If you're trying to drag this out to win the pool, you are disqualified. Not to mention morally bankrupt. I'm hoping to bang some bridesmaids at this thing. Can you head off the uglies for me? <laughs> this isn't what I meant! Zippers are so much easier than buttons. Uh. I didn't mean for you to go crazy! I just meant you need to think for yourself! I'm gonna screw me a goat! One time I linger in the outhouse. Fools! Ow! Ignorant heathens! You have been tricked by the devil! But I can finally feel the wind on my face. It burns! Mark my words. This technology will betray you! He is right. Damn these roaming charges! Ah! It hurts when I pee. <laughs> The devil has wormed its way into our community in the form of this vixen. She is a witch, and you know what we do with witches. Huh. Do tell. We burn them! Remember, think for yourselves! Burn the witch! Oh, crap. What are you doing? You're supposed to be freaking pacifists! Shut up, witch! Why do you still have hair? And she.
Each wins the pool. Yes! Where am I gonna put a pool? Time to kick some men in ass! Run! He knows how to fight! <laughs> it's just you and me, CC Top. Bringeth it on. Yeah! <laughs> Quite enough, gentlemen. Jimmy, roll down your sleeves, unclench your fists, and take a chill pill. You, sir, pitch that pitchfork. What the hell are you doing here? There was a noise complaint from the neighboring Hutterite colony. <sighs> Meddling Hutterites. Come, my good man, let us return you to your gentle ways of peace and misogyny. These outsiders will bother you no more. A Canada, where you can live as you want, as long as you keep it down. Wait! Jacob? Teresa, do not go. I still love you. I am sure with time you will be numb with fatigue and succumb to our ways. Oh, Jacob, I'm sorry, but I can't change myself to fit into your world. I mean, I can, but I won't, because your world sucks. If you will not live in mine, then I shall live in yours. You sure you want to do that, kid? <laughs> Eli, Samuel, what have they done to you? I'll never forget you, Jacob. I'll call you. I'll email you. Well, I'll text. I'll forget it. I'll never see you again. My heart is broken. So is Samuel's. Is that a tattoo? Who wants deer burgers? Not me. Last time I got a hoof in mine. <laughs> <laughs> Saskatchewan, la 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 la